Stampers. It's Barb Reed, the Wexford Stamper. Hope everyone is having a lovely Wednesday evening. Hi, Anne and Joanne. Great to see you guys. Tonight, we're going to do something a little different. We're going to go ahead and take a look at one of my favorite kits from the catalog. Now, this one is in um, the... Hey there, Jean. Sometimes it's hard to see what kits Stampin' Up! has, so it's always best to just go on their website or go on my website. That's www. No, not that one. How about that one? www.barbarie.stampinup.net. That will be the um, my official online store. Check up and on the top and just click on the hi Dawn hi Mary hey and just click on the kits tab and you get to see all the kits that are available and this is one that I really really enjoyed and um, I decided I liked it because they had slimline cards in it which is a favorite of mine but also I thought I would take the projects or the cards that are made from the kit and make a cute little box and I'm going to show you how to do that. First I'm going to put together one of each of the cards okay. This is what the kits look like when they come to you okay. They come in a little box like this and every box has some instructions. Most of the time, just by looking at the pictures of the cards, you can, hi Mary W, hey, and Leo. Happy birthday, Leo. You can tell kind of how to put the cards together, so it's not really that difficult. But for some that you might need more, they do have a picture, a picture tutorial in the, in the inside of the little pamphlet. So you'll get a pamphlet with instructions and then you will get all the pieces that you need inside. They usually have to be punched out. Now I've punched all mine out and I have put all my cards together already. So this box is empty, but I'm going to go ahead and show you what the cards look like. And then I'm going to go ahead and put two together for you. Okay. They had, what I loved about this set is they had two sizes of the slimline card and I just love the color palette of these cards so pretty and I love the fruit of course but just the cutest cards and open up so you can make them if you want to use the happy birthdays you can do that you can substitute another one and then this is the smaller design now I made them based on the design that was in the um box but of course you can do whatever you want now there is no stamping with these cards which is great if you want a really quick um let me take that away i just noticed that that's still up there <laughs> which is a really quick would be a really quick put together for a stamper or it's great if you have a friend or a relative that is a crafter but hasn't done any kind of paper crafting, this would be a great start because there's no stamping. They can get into it, make some beautiful cards without um, any stamping. So what you really get is you'll get these two sentiments um, and you just punch them out of the card, of the card stock that's inside. So there's no um, stamping at all with this one. Everything is in the kit. You just have to punch everything out of the um, cardstock that's provided inside. Also love, look at these lovely, lovely envelopes. This is Orchid Oasis, such a pretty color. I love this color. This is a newer color. So I'm going to go ahead and show you just how easy it is to put these two cards together. All right, let me put this stuff over here. All right, I'm gonna grab, let's do the smaller one first. Okay, so you're gonna grab the smaller card base. These come just as they are in the kit. Then you have this little kind of crescent shaped piece that you have to cut out. 
And another bonus is it comes with a pack of dimensionals. So these are the same ones I used um, to make my card, but you get a nice big sheet of dimensionals to put this together. So the first thing I'm gonna do is go ahead and put this little half moon crescent-y piece on the card. And I really put mine together just by looking at the picture, but you know, whatever amount of help you need. Also, you can usually find online, um, Stampin' Up! will put some video tutorials for these cards as well. So you're gonna be set. So there we go. There is the first portion there. The next thing you're gonna do is you're gonna pull out this cute little branch. There's two different kinds of branches. This is the one we use for the smaller card. And then the smaller card uses the cute little um, pears. And I'm gonna grab my glue. And just need a tiny bit of glue for this. I'm gonna put the glue right on the top of each of those little, um, uh, Come on, little, okay, hold on. The needle was even in here and it's not deciding it wants to go. So let me do a little bit of, okay. I always try to be ready. Yeah, it's still nice and warm during the day here too, Mary but it is getting chillier as well. So I put a little bit of the glue on the tip of each of those, and then I'm just going to add the branch, just like that, just so it touches into that glue. Okay, and then what I thought was super cute, they had these little, um, like little pear blossoms that you can punch out of this piece of vellum. See right there. And what I did is I just kind of bent the little uh, petals up a little bit. And then I put a dot of glue right here. You can kind of put it anywhere you want. Now what is going on with my glue today? There we go. And then I just took the little pear blossom and put it on there. So you can see that right on there. Isn't that so cute? And there's plenty more of those if you wanna make some other project with those cute pear blossoms. All right, then I grabbed two of the dimensionals and I put them in the middle of the card, just like that. There we are. And then I just kind of put this wherever. It's kind of wherever you like is the perfect place for it kind of thing. Okay, let's see. How about we go with that? Okay, there's the cute little pears on the front. And then the last thing is the little You Matter. Okay, this comes the way it is in the kit. You don't have to do any stamping or anything. Um, and that, I'm just gonna go ahead and use a little glue. We don't even need a dimensional for this. Glue over here. Oh, I need to fill this guy up. Okay, hold on, I'm gonna get other glue. I'm back. Never fails for the live stream, I run out of glue. Okay, I'm back. All right, here we go. Now we're gonna go ahead and put a little glue here and a little glue here. And then this kind of straddles across to both spots. And there's the first card. Isn't that so cute? So quick and easy. Somebody that's new to card making would really, really love it. Hey, Brenda. Hi, Deborah. Welcome. Hope you guys are having a great Wednesday. 
I am just sharing one of my favorite card kits. All right, here's the larger card. Let me show you the sample I made already of that. This is so pretty. Just such nice, vibrant colors. Just love it. All right, for this one, you have this little section here that you're gonna place on your card. Now I'm gonna turn that over. I'm gonna grab a bunch of dimensionals for this. I know, I kind of get away from the, the um, kits as well, but this is such a great gift to give to somebody who loves to send cards because they're unique cards because they're the um, slimline cards. And then you can tell her that you made them and maybe get her into card making as well. So it's a win, 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 you know? But yes, there's there's card kits that ha require no stamping. There's card kits that um, have little stamps that come in them and they give you a little ink pad, ink um pad to use and there's also some that make 3d projects so you got to check out the kits page for sure especially in the holidays because there's some really super cute gift tag kits for christmas and i'm going to be having a little gift tag making online session um that's gonna use one of the kits. So you might wanna check those out. All right, so there we have those all on dimensionals. Now we're gonna grab the happy birthday. That is just punched out from the, the sheet in the kit. We have these two smaller little um, branches and then these have apples. Just so cute. I just love this. All right, now let's go ahead do the quick one first. We'll take those dimensionals again and we'll put that happy birthday right in the middle. Okay. I turned mine a little bit to the side. If you are one that loves for it to be nice and straight, you do you, right? All right. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to place my, how, how about I'll put this one straight so you can see the difference. Okay, you can see a little bit of a difference there. Okay, now let's go ahead and create our little apple um, branches. Again, I'm just gonna put a dot of glue on the tip of each of those little apples. And then I'm gonna go ahead and place these. I'm gonna try to get this place and that place there at the tops of the apples. Let's see. There we go. Stay down there. All right, there's one. Let's do the same with this. And there's two. All right. Now, I'm going to go ahead and put these in. Now, the way I did it, I slid these in, the little um, branch part in underneath the um, larger piece that I put up with dimensionals and so that the apples would be towards the middle of that circle. Okay, so what I did, I just took these here and I just slid the branch up a little bit and then I just pressed down with the apples in the center a little bit. Okay, let's do the same with the second one. I'm gonna put a dimensional on the back, slide it up inside there and push down on your dimensional. There you go. Now I did also put two of the little blossoms on this one. So I'm going to punch out two of the little blossoms from the vellum sheet. This is the vellum sheet that you get. Lots more on there if you want to use them for another project. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and pick them up and just bend in the petals a little bit. Give them a little bit of dimension. And the other, these are little and see-through. So old Barb's having some trouble seeing them. There we go. But that's when we have our 
cute little pick tool to pick them up. And all is right in the crafting world. There we go. I'm just going to attach that right to where I put my little glue dot. And then we can have a cute little apple blossom as well. Come on. There we go. So there are the cards for the kit. Now, there are a total of, okay, let me check before I say it. I know they're in the box, but I, I think you can make four of each, okay? So you're gonna have eight cards, okay? Four of the large um, slim line, four of the smaller slim line, okay? So I thought, what a great gift this would be to give these cards to somebody. And I thought, well, what would I put them in? And that gave me the idea to make a cute little gift box. Very simple. I just used the Orchid Oasis um, card stock and um, made this cute little tag. And I'll show you how I did that in a little bit. But super easy to make this box. And you can... Put your cards in there and then you're ready. You have a beautiful gift for a friend for the holiday. Okay, let me show you how I made the box. Now, just to let you know, I have a downloadable PDF that describes how I made the box. Okay, I don't really describe how I made the um, cards because that comes with the kit. But I did want to make sure I shared exactly how I made the, the card box and um, the little tag. All right, let's go ahead and get started on that. This is a large box because the cards, the largest card here is um, about eight inches wide, okay? So I had to use two pieces of the Orchid Oasis paper. And these pieces are cut at 10 and 3 quarters by 8 and a half. That's the big one here. And then we have 10 and 3 quarters by 4. All right, so let's go ahead and start with our larger piece first. Okay, so on the long side, which is this side here, that is our 10 and 3 quarter inch side, we are going to score at 1 inch from both ends. Okay. So let me go to the one. I'm just gonna take my bone folder, slide down the channel. I have one inch there. I'm gonna turn it over to the other end with the long side at the top, again at one. Okay, so that we have done. Okay, now we're gonna turn it on the short side. And on the short side, we're going to score at two, three, seven, and eight. There we go. All right, oops, we have the second piece. Okay, on my four by 10 and three quarter inch, all we have to do here is score at one inch from each end with the long end at the top. Okay, with this box being so large and not having paper that is 12 by 12 to make the, the um, envelope, I had to use a little bit of um, creativity to figure it out. So, all right, I'm gonna, first thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to crease on all my score lines using my bone folder. Hope everybody has one of these bone folders or the best thing since sliced bread. When you're making cards, they make that crease nice and um, crisp and all your 3D projects will come together much ni more nicely than you just using your fingers and squeezing and trying to get a nice crisp line. Now I'm gonna bring in my smaller one, and this just has the two at the end. 
Okay. All right, let's work on the larger piece first and I'll bring in my template from the larger piece. Okay, this is what we're going for with the larger piece. Let me move this so I can move this up here. Okay, so you wanna hold it in the landscaped position. Okay, and you wanna make sure when you're holding it in the landscape position that that thin one half inch panel is at the bottom. Okay, if that is true, then you're ready to go. All right, first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna go in from the right hand side to the first score line, vertical score line, cut through the first horizontal to the second, okay? Then you're gonna cut off that tiny little piece and you're gonna create a little tab with that second portion, just like this here. See right there is what we just did. And then I always like to wedge that off a little bit to create the tab, because this we're gonna stick to something else. Then we're gonna go to the opposite side and do the exact same thing. Up to the second horizontal score line, we're going to cut off the tiny rectangle on the bottom, and then we're going to wedge it to create our cute little tab, and then we're going to create the little tab here for this bottom part. All right, so that is the all we need to do on the bottom. Okay, now let's turn it the other way. Okay. Now, what we're gonna do, and I'll turn my template the other way so you can see, okay? This is going to be our flap that comes over the front of the box, okay? So again, you're going to go up the vertical score line through the first horizontal and up to the second, okay? So we're gonna do the same thing as we did on the opposite end. We're gonna cut this off and then we're going to make our little tab. Exact thing that we did before. Let me make this a little straighter there. That's better. All right, then we're gonna go over to the other side, do the same thing again. Okay, up through that first horizontal to the second. Cut off the bottom rectangle and then create our tab. And that's it. Okay, so now let's turn it this way. Looks just like our template. All right, now when you finish, you want to lay it on your work surface with that um, thinner end down, that half inch little tab, because we're going to go ahead and glue something together. All right, now this is the second portion. No cutting for this. This is just gonna go as is, all right? So, first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna go ahead and get your Tombow and put a very light line of glue along that half inch panel. And I'm gonna turn it this way. I'm gonna go ahead, making sure to line up the edges of both pieces so they're the same. I'm going to glue this piece onto the box, lining it up to the edge of that one half inch panel. Okay, we had to do that because we didn't have enough paper with a regular eight and a half by 11 piece. So this allows us to be able to put the box together. Okay, now we're almost finished. Next thing you're gonna, we're gonna do is we're going to put glue on this, these tabs. We're gonna fold them in, and then we're gonna go ahead and put a little glue on those. These are gonna glue to the inside of our smaller panel. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and Fold that in, and it's actually, I'm sorry, folding to the large panel, but the bottom of the box. Here, maybe if I hold it this way, you can see. Folding that in and down. 
So we're starting to create our box. I'm gonna bring it this way and fold down and press down. That one's not in the line there. Let me try again. There we go. You wanna make sure that you're lining up the edge of your fold, folded tab with the edge of the bottom of the box. All right, now last step. You wanna open that bottom portion nice and wide and you're gonna put glue on the inside of those side panels. Then you're just gonna fold it up and fold it together. Then I'm gonna take my finger or you can grab your bone folder and go inside. And there you have it. How about that? Is that easy? Isn't that cool? All right, now, I'll show you by taking the cards out of this one that there are eight all together, plus envelopes for each. And I'm gonna put these back in so to show you that all eight will fit. There's that one and that one. Let's put their envelopes. And then these guys are on the front plus their envelopes. It's a nice big stack. All right, envelopes, there we go. Okay, now we're gonna go ahead and I'm gonna slide them all in the box. Come on, don't get caught on stuff, there we go. And there you have it, all fitting in the box. I just put the smaller ones in front of the larger. Okay, fold that down, we close our box. Okay, now last thing, and this was kind of a trick I came up with. You'll notice in your kits, since these kits are international, you're gonna have some things that come in them that you really can't use, because I have no idea what that means. Probably you matter. Yes, all the, if it's all the envelopes, all the cards, yep. And I probably won't use these, but I came up with a trick. It's one of those that you, you think about while you're sleeping or you're in the shower. I just glued two of these front to front and it created a little white tag that I could use. See, now I have my own tag that I can use. You could also just cut, you know, use a uh, circle punch or a, one of the punches you have to create, but I just thought that would be a great way to use that. Then I just grabbed a sentiment, looked at all my um, goodies that I have, and I found this one, Handmade Wishes and I just took the with love, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to stamp the with love right on my newly made tag. And I'm gonna grab my paper punch. Give it a punch. Then I'm gonna grab my very favorite holiday ribbon. It is the Very Vanilla Basic Black Gingham. We're gonna go ahead and tie a nice piece around my box. Okay, what I usually do is I'll do an over under and then I'll go to the end of the ribbon and I will thread on my tag. Come on, there it comes. Okay, I'll cut a little off, just like I always re <laughs> recommend to everyone else. I should do that too, huh? Cut a little snip off so that you have more of a point and it's easier to get through. I know I've recommended that, I gotta do do what I say. There we go. So now I have that and I just press that all the way down to help keep that 
ribbon in place right there. And then I'm gonna tie my bow. And I just love the gingham. It just it goes with everything. So there's my bow. And you notice I kept it tied. I, I kept it attached to the roll. So then I don't quite waste as much that way. Then you don't have to make any guesses on how much you're gonna need. Okay, then I'm just gonna cut off. And there you have it. There is your gorgeous box of cards. Wouldn't any of your friends just love to get that for a gift? So remember, if you do end up getting the kit and would like to make the box, it will be available on my blog. Um, as soon as I finish here, I will post everything on my blog. And even if you decide to make some of your own slimline cards, this would be a, no a great box to use. So don't forget um, to always go on, your, on the Stampin' Up! website and check out the kits. Sometimes we ignore the kits because we're so focused on a lot of the stamp sets and sweets, but the kits are a great way to um, make gifts, to give gifts, and depending on what kind of projects you want, you can even do some 3D projects. So tune in later on in the holiday season, I will be um, sharing some products from the uh, Christmas tags, which are very, very adorable. So check them out. Yes, the kits are great. So if anybody gives us a try, make sure that you post on my VIP page. I'd love to see what you came up with. Thanks. Thank you, Anne. Thanks for joining me. Have a wonderful weekend. I'll see you on Monday for Monday Fun Day. Take care. Keep on stamping. Bye-bye now.